don't know me like turning lights on when i was 6 years old i made a solar powered oven out of aluminum foil and cardboard when i was about 9 i had better things to do than cleaning my room and my parents would really get after me for having a really messy room that created the uh, this burglar alarm connected to the door of my room so that any time my parents would enter the room um this really annoying alarm would go off and and they wouldn't be able to switch it off my name is madhav lavakare i am a 17 year old high schooler from new delhi i think for me everything was about problem solving and just making stuff to solve problems and make life easier whether it's my life or other people's life So Transcribe is essentially a um, wearable assistive smart glass device for the hearing impaired that captions real time conversations into from speech to text and displays it on a heads up display in the user's field of vision. So I wanted to have a specific use case where it would actually help someone for a specific purpose. A friend of mine and who actually left his school because he wasn't able to cope with the surrounding where he was surrounded by hearing enabled people and there was no solution for him so all these factors combined for me deciding to make my own smart glass for the hearing impaired so this is the android app that i made myself so what happens is from here i will connect to the glasses via bluetooth then i'll start speaking and whatever i say will get captioned into text via google's speech api that text gets transferred through bluetooth to the glasses and then will come on as captions on the glasses so if i start speaking here how much does it cost is it veg or non veg i've made two prototypes i've tested them with real users i've gone to several organizations to test the device with more than 40 real deaf users and i've reached out to more than 50 to 60 professionals um assistive technology experts just trying to figure out how to got navigate this whole product development process India is a place where the maker space ecosystem and the DIY culture you know do it yourself are not very developed yet it's still developing and therefore it's tough for people like me makers who just want to make things to actually convert their ideas into real prototypes and real designs so it's been tough but it's also been an, it, it's also been a fun journey and i've learned a lot through this